Part 21. If you're still with me, you're probably going to be able to actually pull this off. So I put this uh, chicken door in here. Got that all set up. If you put a little, a um, couple little blocks of wood in there so this lays flat with the same height as the frame, it's a whole lot easier to get those hinges put on there. Um, I did, again, I did the rule of thirds here, just like a, exactly identical to the other chicken door. Left a little bit bigger gap over here because you can see as the angle changes, you have to have enough room for the clearance on that. Plus, if anything swells up, you want space for that. Then here's our uh, window. This has got, um, this is going to have a, a hole drilled in here and one on the other side. And that's going to take a little peg that'll stick in here. And then that peg can be fitted into one of these holes. And then your window can be propped open on both sides. And then um, I ran these screws down in the end. Uh, Pre-drilled them, put a pilot hole in there so it doesn't split. Because if you get two screws right next to each other, there's a tendency for that to want to split out. And then I had to shave this off a little bit because this was just a little bit out of square. I could have adjusted the door, but once I, when you're when you're putting these hinges on, sometimes things will tend to tweak just a little bit on you. Because this is not an exact science; it's a chicken coop. And then this is going to get a piece of plexiglass laid on it later. Uh, I cheated these hinges over towards this outside because that plexiglass, I don't want it to hit the hinge when I put the plexiglass on here. So this is going to be an all season chicken coop. Now, if a guy wanted to, you could put plywood on the whole back side of this piece and then cut it out. So you have a lip all the way around the outside here that this closes against because I actually have these cracks that go all the way around the whole thing. But for me, I prefer to have the ventilation for the chickens than to have it, uh, have it all sealed up 100% weather tight. So it depends on what climate you live in. You may take a different approach to this.